Courtney and Emily are the winners of a bidding war. Their prize? A mortgage worth $140,000 more than they can afford. Luckily, they have an income suite to make up the difference. Or at least, they think they do. They need help. Courtney and Emily spent way more than they can afford on their first house because it has the potential for income. But until they get a renter in the space, they're in way over their heads. They bought this house for $571,000. They have a monthly mortgage payment of $2,400 a month. So, welcome to the house. Thank you very much. You guys are new to the neighborhood? Very new. Just Brand moved new. in uh, last month. Well, tell me about the house then. This is how it was when we moved in. It's a one bedroom. Oh, wow. This is a one bedroom house? Yeah. <laughs> how much did you pay for this house, if you don't mind me asking? 571 for the house. Wow. <laughs> That's a new record for me. $571,000 for a one bedroom house. So our budget was really somewhere in between four hundred to five hundred thousand. To go over that, we thought we would need to have a renter. And that's obviously what you guys have here is an income suite. Mm -hmm. Worth. Well, we have the potential of an in income suite. Okay. Oh, welcome to the uh, income suite, there, Scott. So this is what you guys spent an extra hundred thousand dollars on? It's gorgeous, isn't it? I don't see how it could be rented like this. This was kind of a work sink where a kitchen could go. It's all ABS, which is great. The fact that I don't need to redo your plumbing is going to save you money. That is, if we leave everything where it is. There's no laundry. Are you guys going to the laundromat right now? We're making uh, regular visits home. <laughs> oh, the parents. Yeah, the no parents. way. Yeah. This will be the main entrance? Yeah. Oh boy. This is the front of your house, and this is your porch upstairs. Yeah. Which means when we have a vestibule that compromises your main entrance, we have to have some fire rating done. If there's ever a fire here, we can't compromise your emergency exit as well, so... This will be the first thing that the inspector is going to look at, for sure. What would be a really smart idea is to take at least one or two of these heat registers and have them coming out at the floor level. That will provide more real heat around the space, distributed evenly. How much are you hoping to get in rent for this space? We were hoping we could get 900 yeah, this place has to be sick. It has to be awesome to get $900 a month because it's small. This is a small space. I'm going to take a look at all the plumbing fixtures. I'm going to look at the electrical panel, check out the furnace room, and analyze the entrances. I'll come up with the best possible plans within that budget of yours and make sure we can save money wherever possible. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay. Thanks, cool. guys. Thanks. Thank you. The money to renovate the basement comes from our savings. Yeah. When we purchased the house, we knew we were going to have to renovate the basement right away. The thing is, we need to get it built <laughs> sooner than later, right? Or else the money that we've saved up is just going to be eaten into, and we're not going to have any income coming in. Well, I've obviously had to look around, and I've had a lot to think about. You guys have a $2,400 a month mortgage payment, and you paid $571,000 for this house. Now that's $100,000 more than your maximum affordability level, but you did it because it has an income suite. Right. But that's not quite right either. <laughs> <laughs> it has an income suite potential. So if you don't get this space rented, then... Eating the savings and likely uh, 
just wouldn't be affordable. You know, we have to sell. Okay, well, that's not an option. <laughs> but I do have some options for you. Good. Option one, what we've really done is turn that front vestibule into a reasonable entrance, and then we just made it safe. The front vestibule is a wild card. We're not going to know until the inspector gets here and gives us a clear analysis of what needs to be done. I've kept the bathroom where it is because all the plumbing is done for us and it's set up actually quite nicely. The tub's in good shape, we salvage that, we make everything else modern and clean. Moving on into the apartment, we arrive to where the kitchen is. This kitchen has a dishwasher, a sink, oven with the range fit above it and plenty of cabinetry space. Now the living space is also a combination bedroom. So we have a shared door to your space upstairs and we fire right in a common laundry room here. That is going to eat into the space but you're going to get laundry for both yourself and the tenant. Now you've got shared laundry, you've got storage, but you have a smaller apartment which means this is a bachelor. Big job, new permits. It's going to cost about $40,000 to do this renovation, and it should bring in about $750 a month. Lower than what we uh, well, ideally want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that means your mortgage payments will be down to $1,650 a month. Yeah. But you do get the laundry, which is a bonus. Yeah, no, it's certainly a bonus. I like the idea of updating the, the bathroom. Yeah. So, I like it. Now I have come up with a second option. Option number two, you'll notice some of the changes when we get to the kitchen. Instead of a dishwasher, I've put stackable laundry. Mm. <laughs> mm, delicious <laughs> laundry. <laughs> We have put the laundry where the plumbing exists and we've closed it in in a cabinet so it's not just a unit sitting in the middle of the kitchen. It looks like a pantry but inside you'll find your laundry. The remainder of the kitchen remains the same. But then things have changed a little bit when we get to this end of the apartment. So you can see where we had in option one a shared laundry space. In option number two, we're going to dedicate all this space to the tenant's apartment. We're going to start with a T-wall off the back wall, giving us enough room to put closet and storage on either side, while maintaining the light and ventilation of the window and access to the door. This feature wall is going to give us a natural place for the bed. Close this area in with a wall, put a door, we now have a one bedroom apartment. Cool. Nice. This is what I mean by we're stepping it up a notch. Yeah. So the huge bonus here is that for a less expensive renovation, you get a one bedroom apartment instead of a bachelor suite. Because we don't have to move all the laundry and plumbing and break up the floors, you're going to save about $5,000. So in option number two, for about $35,000, you get your one bedroom apartment that's going to bring in about $900 a month. Brings you right back into your affordability level of a mortgage payment of $1,500 a month. I mean, it's either you sacrifice your own lives and you make up financially for where you're losing, or you fulfill some of your own requirements and you take even more of a financial hit for now. No. Well, interesting options. Yeah, we have stuff to think about. Courtney and Emily, you've had some time to think about it. Now it's time for a decision. There's an opportunity to make money in both of the options I've presented you. Option one is a bachelor with shared laundry. Option two is a one bedroom with ensuite laundry. What's it gonna be? I think we've come to a decision. Yep. Uh, we've decided to go with option number two. Option number two, you're going to sacrifice your own laundry requirements for now. Make the sacrifice, uh, earn more money, spend less doing it. Get this place as good as it can be and get it rented, because this is a little business you're running. All right, upstairs, it's you guys, it's personal. Down here, it's financial. 
so it makes sense to get the money flowing because right now you guys have put a lot of money out and you got nothing coming in. Let's go. I don't really have experience with any home renovations at all. Leaves do a little bit of work instead of coming over for someone else to come in without cost a lot. The windows that we've got here, mm -hmm. they're good to keep, they need to go. Because you've got this window uh, in the front where the bedroom is, plus the window on the door, plus we're adding a window to the front door, and you've got another operable window right behind you, we might be okay. We're very close to the minimum glass allowance and minimum uh, ventilation requirements. <laughs> Now what we're trying to achieve is a flat basement floor. I want to prime it first with an adhesive. It's like a bonding agent because concrete doesn't stick to concrete. So the first thing I do is I roll on a priming bonding agent. Now that the floor primer is dry, our self-leveling concrete is going to bond nicely to the subsurface concrete. Hey guys. Hi. Good morning. Hi Scott. Good morning. How are you guys doing today? Good, how are you? Good. You guys are ready to go off to work? Yeah. Yeah, I just want to get that inspection over with. So have you had the inspection? No inspection yet. We've called for our inspection. That should be today? Or we don't know? We called and booked, and he hasn't called us back yet. I guess you just hear horror stories. Uh, and with any construction, you don't know what's going to go wrong, what's going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, and we certainly don't know enough to be able to predict either, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Carney and Emily are on a bit of a journey. They're starting to realize how much work is involved with doing a major renovation in the house. I've been very transparent with Courtney and Emily on exactly where the costs are and exactly what our floor plans are and what we hope to accomplish in such a short period of time, but there's nothing we can do about renovation surprises. What we can do something about are the heat registers. Camille is removing and patching up the ceiling ducts while I fabricate and install the new registers which will disperse heat near the floors. The rectangular duct fits perfectly in a 2x4 wall. A few screws holds everything together. Put in a couple extra supports so that nothing rattles or shakes in the wall. And then I've blocked on this side so that when I put a register on the final cover, I've got something to secure it to. Done. The new floors in the bathroom are giving the whole place a new look in there. And the rest of the space has really started to come together. All the wiring is done, pot lights are in, we've framed up the walls, we've insulated. And now the soundproofing's going in the ceiling. This income property is starting to look like a real rental here. All we need is an inspection, and we can start drywalling. Hi, Scott. Good afternoon. How was your day? Oh, it was all right. 
Yours? Uh, it was a long one, and it wasn't very good, to be honest. Um, the inspector came by today. And, Does that uh, sound good? No, it's not. So, I'll explain what's happening. Every apartment needs a certain amount of light and ventilation through the windows. So, this inspector, he's arguing that the front door, because it's a covered-in porch, isn't letting in enough natural light. He said if we remove the bedroom wall, you'll have enough light to accommodate for the lack of having a second window in the kitchen and living room area. So why couldn't this have been predicted earlier? Down at the city, they said, okay, yeah, everything works on paper. But when the inspector got here, he's like, according to my experience, this isn't going to cut it. He, he, he took measurement of all the windows, and we had a discussion about it, and, you know, there's not much you can do. You can't tell the building inspector that they're wrong. I think this one's solvable, and I, and I don't think it's going to compromise things. We get, we face problems every day. Mm -hmm. Um, the building code is here to to be safe and to verify that everything's legit and you know maybe it's for the better that they've made this suggestion and we'll make it work and I'm gonna fight to make sure you guys are gonna get the rent that you need and that you're still gonna have an awesome apartment. Thanks. Okay. So we're still friends? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you. I feel better. Thank you. So we're gonna deal with it. It may be a little less appealing in the ad, but we're still going to get a good rent term. It's been a busy couple days, but we've accomplished a lot. That vestibule is completely fire-rated. The bathroom's been tiled and grouted. Our entire apartment is drywalled, ready for paint. I've already laid glue out on one section of the basement, and I've let it sit for about half an hour until it gets a bit tacky. It's pretty tacky. It's not soaking wet, though, so it's not going to seep up on the sides and show up on the top. This is my Carndine plank. It's vinyl, it's gonna contour a little bit with the floor. I like it, it's super durable, super thin. It's not gonna compromise ceiling height. This looks like hardwood, it looks great, but it's super low maintenance. I've basically glued everything from the chalk line to the back wall because my wall isn't necessarily straight, my chalk line is. Lay my first plank dead on my chalk line. Perfect, perfect. With this being my starting point, Everyone can start working off of here, and we can move real fast. Is it the hardware on? Everything seems to be good. Yep. Floor looks good. Laundry yep. box. You got the vent coming in. Yeah, we just we uh, we just wanted to measure the back of the dryer to see exactly where. So we haven't cut the hole, but it's all set. It's the other side of the wall. This doesn't look very deep. We only have 24 inches here. The dryer is going to be 25 inches plus the dryer vent. So you're going to be uh -oh. you're going to be three to four inches short. There's no changing the washer dryer. I mean, this is the smallest set we can get. Yep. You're not going to get a uh, machine that's less than about 24 inches. Right. Then we have the plug. Also, we have the vent. That's going to push it out another four inches. So it's sitting where it's going to be. It means we're off by about four inches, ideally almost five inches. You know, we do have uh, a lot of extra toe kick, and toe kick's about four and a half inches. Let's see the finish. Okay, so it is the white gloss. Yeah, it's exactly the same material. That'll give us our depth. Okay, undo the walls that we put in. Yep. Take down the two side panels. 
We'll bring them out and we'll float them out. Now secure them to the ceiling, secure them to the floor. Build this out and you'll just have a little lift. Look at that though, it'll blend in nicely. Yeah, it'll look fine. My appraiser has come by to give me a second opinion on the rental market in the area. They're definitely going to get quite a high rent for this because it looks very glamorous. I know a few doors away from here, um, they did rent a basement apartment for $915 and it, it didn't have the glamour that this unit has. show Courtney and Emily their basement's full potential. So you can see we cleaned up the front entrance and we've got our window in the front door. You ready to check it out? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. I wasn't sure how big it was going to feel. This is actually feels quite open. This is so nice. <gasps> oh, the laundry. the laundry. Storage in these two closets here. Very nice. I love it. <laughs> I love the white. <laughs> Good job. This is how you did it. It looks so much bigger than I thought it would. You really want to set it up so that when somebody comes to see the space, you're bringing a tenant through, yeah. they see themselves here immediately. And I mean, this desk doesn't have to be this desk, but someone could either work here, or if you had a kind of more comfy chair, it could work for this yeah. too, right? Yeah. We were allowed to close 40% in. Yeah. We've used the shades to give us the feeling of some privacy in there. Yeah. But it feels like a bedroom. It does. This is cool. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, great. lots of space. Yeah, good size closet. The feature wall hides this nook nicely, and you've got one on either side. Yeah. So you've kind of got like his and hers, or hers and hers. <laughs> got its own light switch. The light switch services both sides, so you can switch it on and off from both sides. Oh, cool. Now that I've seen the place, my concerns are gone. The place looks beautiful, and I think it actually looks bigger, having the open concept, and, you know, it does bring in a lot of light, so I'm really happy with how it looks. I had one of my agents come through. So she's an appraiser. She had a look at the space. She had a look at your purchase price and the area. She found some comparables. She thinks that your house has gone up about $45,000 in value with the addition of the space. And it's a real appreciation, real value, not just potential value, right? <laughs> that's awesome. Stuff you can touch. Stuff you can touch, <laughs> stuff that exists, stuff that's legal and legit, and you can start charging rent for it. The other thing I asked her was about market rents in the area, and she was saying that you should be listing this apartment between $975 and $1,000 a month. Wow, perfect. That is awesome. And that'll bring your mortgage payment down to $1,400 a month. That's awesome. Does that feel a little more manageable for you? Are you guys ready to rent this place? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys want to put a listing together? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's get a <laughs> listing together. I'm going to call it a one-bedroom concept apartment with lots of storage.
two, one. sweet to make up the difference or at least they think they do they need help they get a renter in the space, they're in way over their heads. They bought this house for $571,000. They have a monthly mortgage payment of $2,400 a month. So welcome to the house. Thank you very much. You guys are new to the neighborhood? Very new. Just Brand moved new. in uh, last month. Well, tell me about the house then. This is how it was when we moved in. It's a one bedroom. Oh wow, this is a one bedroom house? Yeah. <laughs> How much did you pay for this house, if you don't mind me asking? 571 for the house. Wow! <laughs> That's a new record for me. <laughs> $571,000 for a one bedroom house. Yeah. So our budget was really somewhere in between 400 to 500,000. To go over that, we thought we would need to have a renter. And that's obviously what you guys have here is an income suite. Mm -hmm. Worth. Well, we have the potential of an in income suite. Okay. Oh, welcome to the uh, income suite there, Scott. So this is <laughs> what you guys spent an extra $100,000 on? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. I don't see how it could be rented like this. This was kind of a work sink where a kitchen could go. It's all ABS, which is great. The fact that I don't need to redo your plumbing is going to save you money. That is, if we leave everything where it is. There's no laundry. Are you guys going to the laundromat right now? We're making uh, regular visits home. <laughs> oh, the parents. <laughs> the parents. No way. Yeah. This will be the main entrance? Yeah. Oh boy, this is the front of your house, and this is your porch upstairs. Yeah. Which means when we have a vestibule that compromises your main entrance, we have to have some fire rating done. If there's ever a fire here, we can't compromise your emergency exit as well. So, this will be the first thing. Oh, wow. Oh, I love that. I wasn't sure how big it was going to feel. This is actually feels quite open. This is so nice. Oh, the laundry. the laundry. Storage in these two closets here. Very nice. I love it. <laughs> I love the white. <laughs> Good job. Okay, this is how you did it. It looks so much bigger than I thought it would. You really want to set it up so that when somebody comes to see the space, you're bringing a tenant through, yeah. they see themselves here immediately. And I mean, this desk doesn't have to be this desk, but someone can either work here, or if you had a kind of more comfy chair, it could work for this yeah. too, right? Yeah. We were allowed to close 40% in. Yeah. We've used the shades to give us the feeling of some privacy in there. Yeah. But it feels like a bedroom. It does. This is cool. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, lots of space. Yeah, good sized closet. 
the feature wall hides this nook nicely, and you've got one on either side. Yeah. So you've kind of got like his and hers, or hers and hers. <laughs> It's got its own light switch. The light switch services both sides, so you can switch it on and off from both sides. Oh, cool. Now that I've seen the place, my concerns are gone. The place looks beautiful, and I think it actually looks bigger, having the open concept, and you know, it does bring in a lot of light, so I'm really happy with how it looks. I had one of my agents come through. So she's an appraiser. She had a look at the space. She had a look at your purchase price and the area. She found some comparables. She thinks that your house has gone up about $45,000 in value with the addition of the space. And it's a real appreciation, real value, not just potential value, right? <laughs> that's awesome. Stuff you can touch. Stuff you can touch, <laughs> stuff that exists, stuff that's legal and legit, and you can start charging rent for it. The other thing I asked her was about market rents in the area, and she was saying that you should be listing this apartment between $975 and $1,000 a month. Wow, perfect. That is awesome. And that'll bring your mortgage payment down to $1,400 a month. That's awesome. Does that feel a little more manageable for you? Are you guys ready to rent this place? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys want to put a listing in with the range hood above it and plenty of cabinetry space? Now the living space is also a combination bedroom. So we have a shared door to your space upstairs. And we fire right in a common laundry room here. That is going to eat into the space, but you're going to get laundry for both yourself and the tenant. Now you've got shared laundry, you've got storage, but you have a smaller apartment, which means this is a bachelor. Big job, new permits. It's going to cost about $40,000 to do this renovation, and it should bring in about $750 a month. Lower than what we... Uh... We're Ideally hoping. want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That means your mortgage payments will be down to sixteen fifty a month. Yeah. But you do get the laundry, which is a bonus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's certainly a bonus. I like the idea of updating the, the bathroom. Yeah. So, I like it. I have come up with a second option. Option number two, you'll notice some of the changes when we get to the kitchen. Instead of a dishwasher, I've put stackable laundry. Hmm. <laughs> mm, delicious <laughs> laundry <laughs> we have put the laundry where the plumbing exists and we've closed it in in a cabinet so it's not just a unit sitting in the middle of the kitchen it looks like a pantry but inside you'll find your laundry the remainder of the kitchen remains the same but then things have changed a little bit when we get to this end of the apartment so you can see where we had in option one a shared laundry space. In option number two, we're going to dedicate all this space to the tenant's apartment. We're going to start with a T-wall off the back wall, giving us enough room to put closet and storage on either side, while maintaining the light and ventilation of the window and access to the door. This feature wall is going to give us a natural place for the bed. Close this area in with a wall, put a door, we now have a one-bedroom apartment. Cool. Nice. This is what I mean by we're stepping it up a notch. Yeah. So the huge bonus here is that for a less expensive renovation, you get a one-bedroom apartment instead of a bachelor suite. Because we don't have to move all the laundry and plumbing and break up the floors, you're going to save about $5,000. So in option number two, for about $35,000, you get your one-bedroom apartment that's going to bring in about $900 a month. Brings you right back into your affordability level of a mortgage payment of $1,500 a month. I mean, it's either you sacrifice your own lives and you make up financially for where you're losing, or... You fulfill some of your own requirements, and you take even more of a fan. It looks so much bigger than I thought it would. You really want to set it up so that when somebody comes to see the space, you're bringing a tenant through, yeah. they see themselves here immediately. And I mean, this desk doesn't have to be this desk, but someone can either work here, or if you had a kind of more comfy chair, it could work for this yeah. too, right? Yeah.
we were allowed to close 40% in. Yeah. And we've used the shades to give us the feeling of some privacy in there. Yeah. But it feels like a bedroom. It does. This is cool. of space. Yeah, good size closet. The feature wall hides this nook nicely and you've got one on either side. Yeah. So you've kind of got like his and hers or hers and hers. <laughs> got its own light switch. The light switch services both sides so you can switch it on and off from both sides. Oh, cool. Now that I've seen the place, my concerns are gone. The place looks beautiful and I think it actually looks bigger having the open concept and you know it does bring in a lot of light so I'm really happy with how it looks. I had one of my agents come through so she's an appraiser. She had a look at the space, she had a look at your purchase price and the area, she found some comparables. She thinks that your house has gone up about $45,000 in value with the addition of the space. And it's a real appreciation, real value, not just potential value, right? <laughs> that's awesome. Stuff you can touch. Stuff you can touch, <laughs> stuff that exists, stuff that's legal and legit, and you can start charging rent for it. The other thing I asked her was about market rents in the area, and she was saying that you should be listing this apartment between $975 and $1,000 a month. Wow, perfect. That is awesome. And that'll bring your mortgage payment down to $1,400 a month. That's awesome. Does that feel a little more manageable for you? Are you guys ready to rent this place? Yes. Yeah. Do you guys want to put a listing together? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's get a <laughs> listing together. I'm going to call it a one-bedroom concept apartment with lots of storage. bedroom apartment that's going to bring in about $900 a month. Brings you right back into your affordability level of a mortgage payment of $1,500 a month. I mean, it's either you sacrifice your own lives and you make up financially for where you're losing, or you fulfill some of your own requirements and you take even more of a financial hit for now. No. Well, interesting options. Yeah, we have stuff to think about. and Emily, you've had some time to think about it. Now it's time for a decision. There's an opportunity to make money in both of the options I've presented you. Option one is a bachelor with shared laundry. Option two is a one bedroom with ensuite laundry. What's it gonna be? I think we've come to a decision. Yep, uh, we've decided to go with option number two. Option number two, you're going to sacrifice your own laundry requirements for now. Make the sacrifice, uh, earn more money, spend less doing it. Get this place as good as it can be and get it rented, because this is a little business you're running. All right, upstairs, it's you guys. It's personal. Down here, it's financial. So it makes sense to get the money flowing, because right now you guys are putting a lot of money out, and you got nothing coming in. Someone else to come in, so cost a lot. Reno day one, we're building 
it up. There's the far wall. The windows that we've got here, mm -hmm. they're good to keep. They need to go. Because you've got this window uh, in the front where the bedroom is, plus the window on the door, plus we're adding a window. Bedroom. Oh, wow. This is a one-bedroom house? Yeah. <laughs> How much did you pay for this house, if you don't mind me asking? Five seventy-one for the house. Wow. <laughs> That's a new record for me. $571,000 for a one-bedroom house. Yeah. So our budget was really somewhere in between four hundred dollars to 500000 To go over that, we thought we would need to have a renter. And that's obviously what you guys have here is an income suite. Mm -hmm. Worth. Well, we have the potential of an in income suite. Oh, welcome to the uh, income suite there, Scott. So this is <laughs> what you guys spent an extra $100,000 on? It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. I don't see how it could be rented like this. This was kind of a work sink where a kitchen could go. It's all ABS, which is great. The fact that I don't need to redo your plumbing is going to save you money. That is if we leave everything where it is. There's no laundry. Are you guys going to the laundromat right now? We're making uh, regular visits home. <laughs> oh, the parents. <laughs> the no parents. way. Yeah. This will be the main entrance? Yeah. Oh, boy. This is the front of your house, and this is your porch upstairs. Yeah. Which means when we have a vestibule that compromises your main entrance, we have to have some fire rating done. If there's ever a fire here, we can't compromise your emergency exit as well. So this will be the first thing that the inspector is going to look at, for sure. What would be a really smart idea is to take at least one or two of these heat registers and have them coming out at the floor level. That will provide more real heat around the space, distributed evenly. How much are you hoping to get in rent for this space? We were hoping we could get 900 Yeah, this place has to be sick. It has to be awesome to get $900 a month because it's small. This is a small space. I'm going to take a look at all the plumbing fixtures. I'm going to look at the electrical panel, check out the furnace room, and analyze the entrances. I'll come up with the best possible plans within that budget of yours and make sure we can save money wherever possible. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay. Thanks, cool. guys. Thanks. Thank you. The money to renovate the basement comes from our savings. Yeah. When we purchased the house, we knew we were going to have to renovate the basement right away. The thing is, we need to get it built <laughs> sooner than later, right? Or else the money that we've saved up is just going to be eaten into, and we're not going to have any income coming in.